Good morning, everybody. Um, it's a little early, but that's a good thing. Um, we are heading down to Greater Works to try and finish up hanging the other TVs, get the internet set up, maybe pull this other XLR cable, never know. But we got the additional converters here, one HDMI to SDI and two SDI to HDMIs. We're gonna be doing that. Let me get where the sun is on me. Um, and try and knock out as much stuff as we possibly can today. The main thing is going to be just hanging the other TV in the sanctuary, testing the lines, hanging the um, PTZ, having that connected, and maybe connecting the internet because they install the router and everything um, after I was there. So I need to make sure that I'm taking my laptop with me today um, and I have an extra cable for this camera. Um, we're in a rush because we're heading out of town tomorrow, so we're going to be doing our round table today on Saturday at 5 p.m., so I don't have a lot of time to be there, but let's pack up, and I didn't take my medicine this morning, so let me go ahead and do that, and let's get on the road because I'm supposed to meet them at 9 o'clock, so let's go. <sighs> All right. You know what? I realized I forgot the HDMI cable for my camera. So let me clean off the windshield and let me go back inside and grab that so we can hurry up and get up out of here. All right, I guess just realized I don't need to get hook my camera up. I have my laptop and we already got the camera, the PTZ optics working. So I don't need to go get this cable, so I should have got my hat. Thankfully, I did not shave my head because it is 21 degrees right now. So, very cold. But let's head down here to Greater Works. All right, we are here. We have a huge 70 inch. We gotta figure out how we can hang that. It's probably gonna hang over. Uh, the electrical hadn't been done, so we're going to try and mount um, that. Try and put that in place because I really don't need the electrical, but I won't be able to test it. Um, and then we'll see where we can go from there. here by myself again um, so the 70 inch right there is right at three feet tall so it's gonna have an overhang because it's three feet exactly from here up and we want to have some some playroom if you need to move it or wiggle it so we're probably gonna have the TV hanging maybe about three inches under that so I did a measurement off of that and we should be good but uh, Pastor Leisha's, um didn't leave the uh, PTZ camera here. We got the mount and everything else. She actually ordered a ton of these connectors, which is good in the future, but at least one of these she does not need. So we got the mount here, and here is the other adapter that will go to the, the future PTZ in the front. And then another PTZ, then another PTZ. And another PTZ and another PTZ so that's that's what five PTZs and then we have another connector that goes from the controller so this isn't needed you only need one so I'm gonna have her return these and honestly maybe keep three I don't know if they're gonna do five cameras in here so this can go back we're gonna wait for the camera before we mount that which is gonna be above I could eyeball it but I'd rather not so what I'm gonna focus on right now is hanging the other TV in the fellowship hall 
because all of that's already been done. I literally just have to put the mounts on the brackets on the back of the TV and then hang it. And it's at my height, so I don't need a ladder or anything for that. So let's go ahead and get this done. And then um, chew up where we're gonna put that cable. Probably gonna have to come back and do some conduit for that. But let's go. All right, so everything is done. I need to move the ladder in here to connect the SDI cable into here. And then I'm gonna hook up my laptop to everything so I can get a signal to confirm everything. I have the TV back in here on, but as you can see, there is no signal because I don't have nothing connected. So let me hook my stuff up, move the ladder so I can connect everything, and then make sure we get an image. All right, so we're still getting the image, yay. So now I need to move this ladder in here and make sure we're getting an image in the fellowship hall. Yay! All right, so that's good. And now I need to, man, I still didn't bring my label maker. Um, I need to figure out which um, cable is which and I'll probably um, go and move that cable over now that's in the office, in Pastor Lucia's office, get that done, and hurry up and get that knocked out, um, and then be able to go from there. Alrighty, so I got the mount on there, getting ready to put the camera. Missing the quarter um, screw to hold the um, camera in place, but I need to adjust the settings so that the image just flips upside down because that would be a pain to try and adjust that later. So I'll hook up everything, make that adjustment and see if we can find a screw to place to hold it in place. If not, we have to run up to Lowe's and just get um, a screw for that. All right, so we got the camera mounted, found the cable that goes back to it. Now, one issue is it's upside down because there is no dip switch or anything that you can flip to make it upside down. You have to go into the software to do that. I don't, I didn't bring my um, ethernet plug for my laptop. My laptop is Wi-Fi only. So I'm gonna have to come back anyway, run an ethernet cable from there to the computer to log into it, to change the setting and flip it upside down. Good thing is we got an image and I just finished drilling up here, um, but, I'm doing a mixture. We're gonna do two toggle bolts on this side and then the other ones here is gonna be two lag bolts right into the stud. So that's why I'm getting this wide enough to put the toggle bolts in there. All right, we got the TV up, but we got a tiny issue. So see, we got it working, but we didn't touch it. But as you can see, there is a dent in the screen right there at the very top. Um, we both opened it from the side, me and Pastor Alicia's um, husband. So nothing touched it, thinking it was just damaged inside the box. We're trying to decide, should we stick with it or take it down and return it? Um, just seeing, because they just got them. So I don't know. But what we're gonna do now is try and run just a um, ethernet cable to this real quick, to the PTZ to flip it and then um, go from there. We need about four more HDMI cables here to have the ATEM um, go to the, to the system and then have the PTZ go into the converter and then go to here. So, and then you need one for the laptop and then for the other monitor that's gonna be in here in the media booth. All right, folks, we're done. We got, got it flipped. I don't know why in the world I didn't think. AJ used the remote control to flip the image, so that's good. We're trying to decide what we're gonna do with the TV, but for right now, we're good. Um, I, got, I ran the cable and terminated that up in the attic, so we have internet back here now. I put an eight port switch there right now, and as you can see, we are able to ping.
So we're getting the connection. So that's good. And we are hard wired in there. So pretty much what we have is, is a bunch of HDMI cables that are needed for this TV that we already did test. We just need an HDMI cable. We have this TV and all the other TVs, which is uh, in Pastor's office, Pastor Alicia's office, here in the entrance. That's the only thing we got left. Um, and they're gonna talk about adding some access point at some point in time. But I think for me, I maybe got one or two more trips left, but that's mainly to do the other TVs and everything. So very productive day. So let me hurry up and get back because we have our round table today since my vacation starts on Sunday. So we will see y'all in the next video in about a week, folks. Later.